Hey guys, this is the Dark Preacher, and welcome back to Davy Jones Locker. Now, and today, boy howdy, do I have some changes. And it didn't take me long to do them either. Ah, come on now. Come on now. Come on. There we go. But don't travel anchors. I got one that goes to green. Green. Whoop, no, not the loot recycler. Also, uh, I've, I've set this up. So, that's a thing. Ah, boot. There we go. <laughs> that was odd. Let's let everything load in for a second. Woo! <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, let's head back up to the center. And, yeah. I'm only going to be using that. That. Okay. Forgot. Jump on it. When you look at another one, you travel to it. Um, I'm only going to use that when I'm not recording because that is quite jumpy. But I got some news. Um, this is still going good. Now this over here this is just an autonomous activator pointed low and an item hopper. And yep, this is set to run on a redstone signal. Redstone signal on, it sucks everything out of the chest and puts it into loot recycler. Uh, one moment. Okay, thought I had to sneeze. I was wrong. And the lever controls both the hopper and the item conduit. Item conduit's on. Hopper is off. Hopper is on. Conduit's off. And I've been using this to get a whole lot of iron. And I will show you why in a, just a moment. First, let me get some stuff out of my inventory. Uh, I've added a little more storage. I put another 4K in my ME system. So I got that going. Uh, yeah. So, let's go check on progress of things in the nether. Ooh. Let's get out of this laggy base. Wait for it. Oh my! Where have all my generators gone? Let's well, think of it. I don't need them anymore. Because I have something else. I have a heat exchanger and a steam turbine from advanced generators. And at first I thought, oh, this is going to be complicated. But I made a quick test world to test things out, see how it all worked. See how all the machines fit together. Because they're multi-block structures. I mean, you make each block separate, but they're multi-block. The great thing about this is they're easily expandable. Now, I've got a power cell. This entire machine holds 5,100,000 RF. And it puts out 160 RF a tick. Yeah. Yeah. That'll run my entire base. With a little bit of backup from the hooch. Now what I can do is take the weed out and have this thing start working on seeds instead. I'm pretty sure my planter is stuffed full of seeds by now. Yep, let me get, let me get, let me, 
Let me get down. Let me out. You know what? Ha! <laughs> Another reason why I like the staff of traveling. I can fly. <laughs> Anyways. No, it's not stuffed full, but it's it's fairly full. So. Yep. I have all of this creating lava just for the heat exchanger. Now, this has an item output port, which is four iron frames. Iron frames is four iron and gets a diamond shape. That gets you two. Yeah. But the item output port is four of those and a hopper. The fluid output, that's where the steam comes out, is two iron frames, two iron ingots, and iron tubing, which is two pieces of iron on a stick, which gets you 16. That's pretty cheap. Well, then we got the heat exchanger itself. It takes five iron tubing, four iron frames. Okay, that's fine. The heat exchanger controller Ah, now we're starting to get into a little bit more complicated things. Control circuit. Four redstone, nether quartz, four iron. That doesn't seem all that complicated. Uh, iron tubing we know. Redstone iron what? Redstone iron wiring. Four redstone, a stick, two iron. Gets you 16 redstone. Iron wiring. Huh. Okay. Uh, fluid intake valve. Well, that's stuff we already know, and it's fairly cheap as well. Um, what's this thing actually doing? Current heat, 1,000 heat units, 64 heat units a tick, 50 heat units per tick. Heat loss, maximum heat transfer. Lava's consumed, steam produced, and this thing makes obsidian. So what I'm thinking of doing is instead of having a liquid transfer node with a world interaction upgrade, I'm just going to make a couple of reservoirs from Ender.io, put it down here, and it'll hook directly into the water line. It'll hook directly to everything that needs water on this end. Now, the heat exchanger has fluid output valve. Well, that's that's fairly cheap as well. Well, hmm. Well, what about uh, the steam turbine? Steep a turbine controller. Wow, that's that's pretty cheap. I mean fluid intake valve? Huh, okay. Um the turbines. Maybe those are expensive. Okay, iron tubing we know. Redstone iron wiring we know. The frames we know. Turbine rotor. Ooh, how do you make ooh? Okay, getting a little complicated. Turbine blades. Okay, yeah, eight of those. Iron ingot gets you one rotor. Uh, turbine blades is five iron. That gets you four blades. What? What? That's pretty cheap. So... And that gets you one turbine. Well, this machine that I've got set up has two turbines to connect to turbines it puts out 160 RF a tick uh, the speed yeah, it's currently losing power right now but it's got a lot of power to go through 
Now when this thing actually has water coming to it from, you know, the loaded chunk in my base, when I'm there, huh? That's the reason why I need to get the uh, reservoir from Indra.io. But when it's running, it runs fairly efficiently. Whoa. Okay. Now. And now that chunk's loaded. And now it's getting water. So. Let's see about making that reservoir right now. I need buckets. I need two buckets. Because I'm going to need water. And reservoir. Reservoir? Is that it? Uh, no. Reservoir. Reservoir. That is glass around the cauldron. So we get the cauldron. And then. And these need to be built two by two by one. So, oh, I don't need quite clear glass, it would seem. Hmm. That means I need sand, I think. Well, we'll just take some sand and we'll just pound some sand real quick. Pound it out with a hammer. I still need to work on all the inputs and everything for this, but I still need to get redstone so that way I can make more larger storage drives for my ME system. Eventually, I will be getting into auto crafting. So, that's the thing. Um, I've uh, got two. Okay. To right now it grows really slow so it takes a long long time to get one draconium ingot off that one plant I mean I could make a bunch but I would rather take my time and make sure that I'm doing everything correctly Is I want to get power all up upgraded and up and running and all that before I go absolutely nuts on trying to build all the draconic things before I even want to get to the end and RF tools because I want to make sure that I have enough resources to be able to do the things that I want to do before I start heading into the end and doing the dragon battle and all that. So, I also need to start some farms. Now, one thing I've noticed since Teddy changed it to that way, neutral mobs spawn in ocean biomes. One, I haven't seen a fluid cow since. I've seen regular cows, I've seen pigs, chickens, sheep, haven't seen a horse yet, but I'm pretty sure that's going to happen sometime, and I haven't seen any fluid cows, which is really, really weird. I mean, fluid cows should overwrite normal cows, but I have normal cows down in my basement over in the purple area. But anyways, reservoir. Uh, no, reservoir. 
We need to wait, I'm guessing. Or maybe find it over here. Where is... Where the heck is my quite clear glass going to? What the heck? Hmm. Qu quite clear glass. No, it's not the quite clear glass. I'm thinking it's fused quartz. That's quartz glass. I need quartz. Well, not that. Not that kind of quartz. All right. And there we go. Now, what I'm going to end up doing is filling these buckets. One, two, good to go. Fill the buckets, take them, and the reservoir. Res reservoir, there we go. One, going back into the nether, I mean I have been moving most of my production to the nether. What I need to do is probably get these machines over to the nether. I've also got like a lot of flowing water around my base. So I'm thinking one thing I really need to do is just basically man up and fixed it or fix it okay there we go four reservoirs which as far as I know this is the only way you can get an infinite source of water in the nether. Yep, yep, yep. And then one, a two, a three, four. There we go. And then Set that to extract. Always active. And now this thing will constantly be producing obsidian, which I can then turn into instone, which I can then pulverize and run through a sieve. Which I might actually set up something here in the nether to create in stone. And I'm thinking I might move my auto packaging system over here as well. So that way it all gets packaged up, smelted down, and then sent through to the other side where I can actually craft things. But I think I'm gonna go make some more turbines and then expand this thing out as far as I can get it to go. Because that would be interesting. It produces 5 RF a tick, consumes 80 millibuckets a tick of steam. This thing produces. 80 millibuckets a tick. So if I make more heat exchangers, because this thing currently has four, make more heat exchangers, go work on making the pressurized versions of these pipes, these fluid conduits, so that way they can handle more, and then just create netherrack 
and then turn in this into an, like a nothing but a field of burning netherrack with crucibles on top. I think that would work. I mean, I've got I've got lava to spare over here. Let me just you no, you're full. There, you take that, and I will take that. Yeah, you can take that too. And that, and I will take these back to the overworld. And go feed it to my smeltery real quick. Because I've got almost a stack of obsidian that I'm working on. Beep, beep. Oh, lag spike. Load in, world. Load in. My base doesn't like it when I go to another. It's it all pissy with me. Alright, set that to extract. So I can pull it back out. Am I all out of... I guess I am. Almost a stack of endstone. Good to go. Another thing I need to do is start taking all this obsidian that's coming through. How much was that? Almost a stack of obsidian. It's been maybe 45 minutes, and I've almost got another stack of obsidian. That's insane. Let's see here. 900 mil of buckets of resonant ender. Add that. Oh, wait a minute. Ha ha ha. I don't feel like fiddling around with my key bindings, and it's easier to just take the backpack off. Let's see. Fluid. There we are. That. And then... D that. No, not that. West. Extract. There we go. And then, slowly but surely, I will get in stone. Which I can then pulverize, send through a sieve, or I can send it through an auto hammer. And I will end up getting broken draconium, which I will sit there and I will hammer that myself. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the update for right now. Um, I'm thinking I might build... I might build another tower over here. Uh, the room that I was working on over there, I was going to have be a giant neutral mob spawning farm. Um, I think what I'm going to do to make it a little faster to get there and get back is either set up a rail system or set up the extra utilities conveyors because those I can move fairly quickly on especially if I flood the tunnel so that way nothing else will spawn in it and just leave the lights off so I think that's what I'm gonna do but this and yeah, the get your tanks here, modular tanks, are great. I mean, I'm, I'm glad they're a thing. But they, along with that, can go away now. As a matter of fact, that can go. 
and I can reclaim all of these. And that's just one less thing that I have to worry about. So, I've got power, I've got obsidian being made. All I gotta do is set up my smeltery and hook my AE system into the dimensional transceiver which means I could probably put an export bus right there and make some of the ME conduits from Indrio and hook it into there and export the obsidian or I don't even have to worry about taking it out of the system. All I gotta do is just export it, put it into a hopper, I mean export it out of the machine of course, put it into a hopper that's hooked into a smeltery like I've got over there, and then export bus all the ender pearls I keep getting, and I've, I've been getting a lot of ender pearls. I mean, I'm up to 166 just over here. That's a little over 10 stacks of ender pearls. I've got this thing growing ender pearls for me. I've got the mob trap getting ender pearls for me. I've got this thing opening up loot bags and getting ender pearls for me. Which I need to clean this out a little bit. I keep hanging on to the thomium tools because I. <laughs> need to thaw me before repairing my items. And I will take the books. Pretty much the rest of that is just junk. So. But anyways, I'm going to see how big I can make those advanced generators. But I think it's time to wrap up. So. As always, I'm the Dark Preacher, this is Davy Jones Locker, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and by the way, um, I will have a special video coming out for my patrons for meeting one of my goals. Um, probably within the next week. I just gotta figure out how to get uh, the mod pack they chose. Either, either the mod pack they chose or the mod pack that I'm going to probably have put together. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put together... Actually, I think I'm going to put together a mod pack for that video. That's what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.